Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbird Designs. If you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload new video. Okay, for this today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you could have some something like images inside of some text. So without wasting time, let's just go straight away into the tutorials. First thing I'm going to be Reading is to uh, like now I have my text. I type my text already. You can pick a, your text to and type in any text you want. But for this, I'm going to be making use of just this particular text. I'm going to use make use of a love. Let's say a love. Now, after doing this, what I'm going to do is I don't need it to have hair, a color inside. I just need hairline. So I'm going to come to the color and first of all, let me come here and click out this left click on it when i left click on it it's going to remove the color so now i'm going to now right click to give it a hairline so by the time i give it hairline i'm now i'm now going to come to where i have this i'm having hairline here i'm going to come to this place and on the hairline increase the hairline of this particular object let me say i'm in going to increase it to something like Four point. Let me see how four point goes. I think I'm okay with it like this. So, or I can still increase it if I wish to. Let me make it six points hairline. So now I'm just going to duplicate this. I'll copy it and save it somewhere. Now on this particular one, I'm going to now click on it and do come to object then click on convert outline to object once i do that you are going to see i'm going to be having two objects here this and the other one without the hairline so this is what we and i have this one is an, is an outline on its own why this is the main object so now what i'm going to do to these two uh, images now i'm going to duplicate my image into two remember this one i did not up create the outline for this so I just duplicated it and drop it here so that in case I need it, I make mistake of somewhere I can fall back to this particular one. So now on this one, I'm going to reduce it. I want to fix it inside this particular shape. So I'm going to do something like I'm going to power clip, right click and power clip it inside this particular text. So now I'm going to go inside the power clip and ensure I adjust it and arrange it the way I want it to look like like for example i want it in such a way that the images will show very well i think i think i'm okay with this like this now i have it something like this but you can see i don't need this white these areas so i'm going to try and see how to work on my text now i'm on the image itself i'm going to from here now let me see how to duplicate the image again by the time i duplicate it i'm going to get something i want to fill up that particular side of that text of that image so i'm going to send it to the back and try to increase is it i'm going to try to increase it to fill up this side on this other area try to increase it to fill up this side then on this side i'll do the same thing but i'll copy it here I'll do the same thing on this side, but this time around, the inner one, this one comes off. So now I'm going to adjust it so that it, I get what I need. Well, I think on this side, I'm okay with the way this side of it looks. And this, I'm going to adjust this side of this particular side. I'm going to adjust it. I want to ensure that they both on the two side they are blending well so i'm going to add some transparency to this side i want it to blend with this other background so it looks as if it is a one image so that's why i actually use this transparency so now let's see how what i'm going to be having now you can see it comes out well the way i want it to be so now from here now the next thing i'm going to be doing is to have something like this for my hairline 
because say I'm having this only. I if I should say if I should bring it in now, you can see it's not going to look very well. So I'm going to do some little adjustment to it. So to this particular one, I'm going to add and should I add something like this on this. So now I'm going to duplicate this once again. Once I duplicate it, I'm going to right click on it, power clip inside of this object. So we now have something like this. So now you can see by the time I do bring it to the center, this is what we now have. So now I'm going to leave this one the way it is. Now on this one now, I'm going to what I'm going to do to this is to use it. I want to use this and create something like a shape on this side. So I'm going to do I'll take this. I want to get the measurements for this side. I'm going to double click then and make this to go to the center then let me see how to from this rectangle i drew i want to pick the perfect size of this shape that was why i did this so now i'm going to now drag this inside and power clip it inside so now it's now at the center so now i will now go inside of this now ensure it's aligned to the center then drag it up a little try to increase the size let it be can increase it then add some transparency to it by the time i add some transparency to it and i have something like this so now this is what the effect i'm not having now i want to add i don't want it to look too whitish like this it's a bit whitish and drop this somewhere here i don't want this to look like this so now i'm going to what i'm going to do is to click on this or let me just send this to somewhere so that we'll be able to see it. Let me send it to the back. So now on this other one, I have this. Now on this one, now I'm going to pick my interactive field to. I'm going to have some kind of filling effect to it. So you can see this side. It's from comes from the darker region and let me say I'm going to end it with something like this so you can see I'm adding some effect I can actually also try some other color combination so you can try some anything you want to do yourself so uh, let me say I'm going to be making use of this but now this time around I'm going to make it maybe something like this I need the thickness I'm going to make it something like this then let me see if possible i'm going to even let me make it this way and see let me see how it looks like this way okay i think let me rotate let me do the opposite so this is what we now have on this particular image now let me get for a tag i need a light red on it and on the blue i need a dark shade of blue and it. Now, let me say this is what i'm having so now what i'm going to do now is to select both of these this and this and ensure i join them together as one now on this particular I'm going to highlight them and take it to the center now on this one now the inner one I'm going to increase it a little I'm going to do some increments on it yeah so now this is what we are, I'm having now I cannot I'm okay with this I cannot do away with this okay so you now see this is what I've been able to so you can actually try so this effect on your own i use it same many favorite kind of design so i just wanted to show you this how you could translate your work using your text if you're still watching this video and you have not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new videos so this way i'm going to stop for this particular tutorial until next time bye